What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about an issue in the game at the moment and also, yes, if we do have in the title, we're not clickbait here lads, so we will be getting free coins if you bought a special manager pack and you will be getting GP, free compensation. So as I said, we'll cover that as well. We'll also cover about the actual managers and what they do and why this is such a big issue. I think it's kind of crept under the radar a little bit. Um, I did cover it on my live stream yesterday, but we'll cover it in full detail here, right? So, firstly, we're going to discuss what the actual issue is, and then we'll show you it in real time how it's actually going to affect your team. I've been struggling with a couple of my team the last couple of days, right? So, maybe this is why, right? I didn't really kind of, like, notice it too much last week, but this week I have felt it, right? Because I've built my team in a very specific way, right? So, the first thing that we're going to look at here is the actual initial issue uh, update that they gave and it says that we are aware of an ongoing issue where managers team play style proficiencies are not functioning as intended in online user matches as a result the player stats of, of your players were not being reflected in match what does this mean right i don't think a lot of people really kind of cop this including me i was kind of like yeah, yeah it's only a small issue they'll fix it whatever and um, because they said they plan to fix it in the upcoming update but yesterday, they said that this is probably a bigger issue than we realized, right? Because they provided more information, okay? And this is kind of a bit of a frustrating one, lads. I'm, going, I'm not going to lie, right? It said that the aforementioned issue is confirmed to have been occurring in all online user matches within Dream Team. Uh, although players' abilities should vary depending on the appointed manager's team playstyle proficiency and are indicated as such in game plan, we have confirmed that the players' abilities in match are the same as those that are found in Dream Team player, in the actual player list, when you're signing players for GP, with no changes to their stats applied, okay? So let me talk about this first, right, before we get back to this, and I'll explain this. If you've been playing the game for a while, you will understand team playstyle proficiency. If you are a newcomer, I'm going to explain it to you in about 60 seconds, right? So you will see here that we've got our squad, right? We've got a beastly squad, but we've got our manager here, which is going to be Claudio, right? So this guy has got 70 in all his team playstyle proficiency with no coaching affinity, no boosters, right? So he's got 70 in all his team playstyle proficiencies. Different managers will have different ratings based on the team playstyle that you want to choose. So for instance, Klopp has got quick counter, and of course Tuchel has got out wide, right? We also have in, uh, Ten Hag with possession 75, and uh, Pep with 87 uh, for his possession game. So they all have different play styles, right? If we pick a manager that's got a lower than 85 team play style proficiency, right? Such as Claudio here, okay? He's got 70. And we have the team play style uh, out wide. Let's just use out wide for an example. Or we can use possession game for an example here, right? You are going to see that all the players here, and we'll take Bellingham for uh, a change, right? you're going to notice his aggression stat. So look at his aggression stat is going to be at 88, okay? Which is an easy way of seeing it visually, right? He's not got a booster, he's not got anything. They're just his base stats, his actual player card without any boost. Manager boost, in-game boost, booster boost, anything. This is his card. So his aggression stat is going to be 88, right? So when you change this to a higher rated manager, right? playing the same formation, or you can switch it, right? It doesn't really make a difference. For example, we are going to use, uh, we're going to use Pep here with 87 possession game, right? You will now notice that my overalls have gone up, and also Bellingham stats have gone up by plus two. So every single stat that you saw a minute ago are now plus two. So Bellingham has gone from ball control 84 to 86, defensive awareness 78 to 80, aggression 88 to 90, all by changing and upgrading our manager, right? So what was happening was these changes weren't actually coming into effect. Instead of Bellingham being this rating and saying, oh, I've got a player that's got 97 overall as a CMF, he's got 90 aggression, he's got 85 tight possession. In actual fact, Bellingham's true rating in online matches, even though visually in the menus it was saying that he was that rating, his actual visual, um, his visual rating was roughly the same as what you see in here when there's no manager boost at all. So this was his rating here. His actual card rating was what was being used online. So this was the version of Bellingham that you were using when you were playing online. So for example, if you had a player with like 78 stamina and you were getting the plus two manager boost and you were saying, oh, I've got an 80 stamina player. In reality, he actually only had 78 stamina because there was no boost being done, right? So that was the rating that you had in the players. When you actually matchmaked, the game plan... Um, stats were being thrown out the window. They weren't actually coming in. Now, also with this, right, I want to mention about the new managers that they have because they give a plus one speed boost 
or else they give a plus one boost to ball control or they give a plus one boost to stamina. Whichever you want to choose, it doesn't matter. There's six managers with the boosters. They have got a team play style proficiency that's going to be 85 uh, or above. And also, when you change manager, don't forget to change to the to the formation that the manager has because it will affect their own collective strength and the player's cards uh, strength, as you see with Foden there, going from a 96 uh, to an 83 to a 99, depending on what team play style you're going to use. It has to be the same team play style as the manager, right? So, when we actually go back out here, this makes a little bit more sense now, because they talk about this issue, right, where they say that the booster effects of managers are reflected correctly. So you were still getting that plus one boost with Ten Hag to speed, right? It also says that players' abilities indicated in game plan are reflected as intended in offline games and against other non-PVP matches, so in co-op as well. So, for example, if you were playing with Bellingham in an offline game, he's going to have aggression at 90. If you're playing an online eFootball league, he's going to have a base 88. You're not going to get that manager team playstyle proficiency boost, okay? And it said that they're implementing the fixes. Um, they're going to be in, a, in an update in early December. Now, this gives us a little bit of um, clarity on when we're going to next get the biggest update. I've been saying it's going to be early December for a long time. Um, and now we get confirmation in early December there, right? But they say that after implementing the fixes, we'll be sending everybody 50,000 GP. Also, users who have purchased the following packs until the fixes have been implemented will receive 100 eFootball coins for each pack as a token of apology, okay? So any of the special packs that you bought, we'll be getting 300 coins because we bought the three packs. Any of the eFootball coins um, or the eFootball premium packs that you bought, you will be getting them. So that is just basically... Something to think about when you are building your squad at the moment with these players is because you're not getting those boosts. Like, and that can be a big thing with Messi. Because, for example, with this Messi here, I've got 90 finishing with the team play, with the manager boost. But in that, in reality, I don't have 90 finishing. I've got 88. Now that doesn't make a huge difference unless you're trying to reach certain thresholds because there's different animations that kick in and the player AI actually moves differently and behave, behaves differently when you've got different stats at different levels. There's no real difference, I would say, between a rating of like 80 to 86, 87, but there is a big difference between a player that has got like 80 tackling or 90 tackling or 80 stamina and 90 stamina or 80 acceleration and 90 acceleration. It's minimal at times, depending on the stat. But that is just something to keep in mind. If your players aren't performing as usual, that could be the reason why. So just bear that in mind when you're training your players. You might need to train them a little bit differently um, than you normally would, taking the plus two boost out of consideration. So that is it for me, Les. It's just a quick one. It did kind of creep under the radar a little bit. As I said, we'll all be getting 50,000 GP and coins if you bought the manager pack. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with some more content later. Peace.